Hello Cancer and welcome to your monthly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Cancer. If you enjoy this reading, if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Let me know you like the content. Subscribe if you would like to. Click that notification bell. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, you can visit katytarot.com. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. If your sun sign does not resonate, then you might like to check out your moon sign, your rising sign, and for love and romance, your Venus sign. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Guidance for Cancer this month. Guidance for Cancer. Remember to tap into your own intuition throughout this reading, Cancer. Because Spirit often wants to bring through a message that is very personal to you. And so if you take notice of the images on the cards, the writing on the cards, they may speak to you personally. And if that happens, that is a direct message from Spirit speaking through your intuition to give you guidance, perhaps an answer to a question. Guidance and messages for Cancer, please, Spirit. I can't there. Guidance and messages for cancer, please, spirit. Guidance and messages for cancer. Your energy cancer, the energy around you for the month. Let's take a look at your first card, your first message. We have the sunrise, the symbol of the sunrise. This is always a nice symbol, nice energy to get during a reading. New creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. I'm seeing Cancer that this new start, this new venture might actually surprise you. It might shock you quite a bit. You're not expecting this new offer, opportunity, this new venture or this fresh start to come about in your life. You're not expecting it to come through. You don't know it's coming through. It might just be out of the blue that it arrives um, at your doorstep this month. So remain positive because there's going to be a change through a choice to do with something new starting. Perhaps a creative idea, but definitely a new start, a new venture, a new partnership, a new relationship, um, a new way of doing things, a new outlook. It's going to be different for every one of you, of course, but the sunrise is always a welcome sign. We have the symbol of the butterfly, a change for the better. Yes, exactly. This, this new venture, this new horizon is a change for the better. Butterflies, of course, can mean change and transformation, and I see that you've been You've been doing that recently, Cancer. I see that you've been really, really focusing on changing your life, some aspect of your life. You're really wanting to transform it, to change it, and you're really going to be able to do that. Very powerful. We have the symbol of the tulip, great passion. Yes, I feel your passion for something is going to be stirred within you. A passion for maybe a person in terms of romance. But for others, I do see this passion will be for a hobby and interest. It's going to be for a life purpose. It's going to be for creativity. It's going to be for blessings to come into your life. Connection, passion for connection with spirit. This passion, this enthusiasm, this feeling is going to shock you. Or you're going to see this energy coming toward you from another person or coming toward you in an, uh, from another direction. And that may, may be surprising where it comes from. It is going to be surprising um, for you, but very welcome, I feel. Very welcome. The symbol of the candle. You will be shown the way. 
If you are feeling lost, if you are feeling down and out, if you're just feeling not with it, if you're feeling confused about someone or a situation in your life, Cancer, you are going to be shown the way. And the pineapple reconciliation is going to be a coming back together of hearts, of minds. You're going to reconcile something in your own being so then you're able to move forward with positivity. We've got some really nice cards coming up to begin your reading, Cancer. Let's take a look at this card here. Deservingness. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. You do deserve this change. Don't doubt this. Don't have don't have doubts or self-criticisms or put yourself down, lower your confidence in any kind of way, Cancer, because you do deserve this change. You do deserve to have abundance. You do, you do deserve to have your divine life purpose revealed to you. And as this card says, even if you can't recognize it at the moment, it's going to come through very soon. Very soon from when you view this video, you're going to be able to move toward your life purpose, more fulfillment in an area of your life that you've been wanting to uplift, talking about that change and transformation that you've been wanting for some time. You deserve it. Divination is important this month for you, Cancer. Embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with crystal clear clarity. You're really going to understand something from a higher perspective. That's the message I'm receiving. You will receive guidance. Perhaps you do practice divination in some kind of way. If that's you, trust the results that you get from your divination. Trust the results, trust the answers. Because this energy is very strong right now around you or will be in December. So it's going to give you some insight. Spirit's going to give you some insight around um, a question or guidance that you're needing through divination. Leap of faith, courage and strength, Cancer. Archangel Michael hands you an energetic key. This sacred key key blesses you with the gift of courage I love it you really have the key to open um, locked doors or doors that are locked at the moment opportunities situations you're wanting to unlock the energy you're wanting to get moving in your life cancer you hold the key this month you're going to find the key and you're going to unlock the door and it's right below deservingness. So whatever it is, whatever opportunity comes in that you unlock for yourself, you are definitely deserving of this change or of this energy, of this offer. You know what this is for you. You, you deserve it. You might get some insights through divination, prayer or meditation uh, this month in relation to this opportunity or in relation to what you are receiving in toward you. We have the web. Things are complex. Things are complex and everything is interconnected. That's what spirit is saying here, Cancer. And you're going to start to see the intricacies. You're going to start to see the, the map of what's going on laid out in front of you. So you're not going to be in the dark anymore. You're not going to feel that you're uneducated about something. You'll have the map. You'll know where to go. You'll follow this path. And you may receive this map through divination, through prayer, through meditation, through spiritual means. It may come through communication. It may come through you taking courage and strength in someone or something in your life. But you're going to find the way. The underworld. This can be a difficult energy, but it's definitely one of transformation. You may have undesirable traits or 
Um, you may be looking into your shadow self, but you're really, if that has been you and that's been coming up in your life, uh, maybe you've been seeing this in another person. You're starting to see undesirable traits in them. Perhaps there's temptations or codependencies or addictions of some kind. You are really truly balancing that out within yourself and you're reconciling that. You are understanding um, how to work with this energy and that's very powerful. Like I said, there's a complex situation going on around you that you're going to work out. It may be to do with health, okay, because we've got the page of discs. And the key word here is health. So it may be related to health for some of you, mentally, emotionally, physically, perhaps. The page of discs um, is a youth, a child, someone younger than you, around you, significant in your life in some way. The page of discs also represents education, research, learning, um, learning through mistakes or errors of judgment, learning from those things, moving forward. Getting up again once you fall, you know, um, and it's all part of the learning process. So that's coming through as a powerful, I feel a powerful catalyst for, um, for change here. You recognizing what you've learned and then moving forward from there. Suffering, the nine of swords. You're going to, you have had this energy around you or you're going to see this in another person, I feel. Suffering, nine of swords can mean mental stress, anxiety, worry. It may be because you feel that you don't deserve something here or there may be a subconscious thing going on here, Cancer, that you're needing to uh, really work out. If you have some courage and some faith here, take a leap of faith, unlock a door of um, an opportunity here within you or maybe externally a circumstance here once you unlock this door there's no going back there's no going back to this suffering you know I feel you want this out of your life you're learning through it I can see that so you're not going to allow this drama person energy whatever this is for you specifically to enter your life again you're going to be well aware of it uh, in the future yes I love this healing energy of the star the star means that spirit is around you, protecting you. A change for the better is on the way. This is healing energy as well. The star is healing. So there is momentum in your health and well-being in some respect. The star is also Aquarius's card. So you may have an Aquarius around you significant in your life in some way. A really beautiful energy. I'm seeing community, commitment. Um, maybe you're committing to something in your community this month. But overall, this is a card and energy of healing and of hope and of following your guiding star. And that's what it's really about. You're finding your passion again. You're finding who you are. You're digging deep, you're getting rid of the surface superficial things and you're digging deep and you're understanding yourself much better through the process that you've been through or that you're going through. And you're really going to come out of this on the other side, moving into next year with this beautiful butterfly energy of a change for the better. Remember the very first card is the sunrise. New ventures, a fresh start. It's on the way for you, Cancer. This may be surprising for some of you to hear because perhaps a routine is happening or some. it's hard to get out of a rut, but it is. It's going to change. So you got some amazing energy coming through. Very powerful energy, Cancer. I hope you all have a wonderful month ahead and I will talk to you all again soon.